This is a remake. This is a reboot. This is a remaster. This is a remaster of a remake. I'm still not sure what this is. So, what are the differences between all of these? Let's try to find out. First, I think it's fair to say that there will be gray areas in times where it's not clear as to what one thing is regarding all these different terms. I will go over those a bit, but I do think there are degrees of separation and I'll probably mostly be going over those. With all that said, let's get started with the remakes. To remake is to make something again, or differently. Well, when we get that broad about it, I guess everything that takes after the original title is technically a remake, but there are standards that companies go by that I'll try to explain as best as I can. Traditionally, it seems that remakes, by most standards, are possibly the most ambitious and with the most changes based on the original material. Remakes seem to heavily take from the original game as well as try to give the most improvements from a gameplay perspective, graphical changes, sometimes worlds even being rebuilt, and sometimes story changes as well. However, I think most remakes, like Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, and Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, are still faithful to the original titles in terms of story with if anything, only additions or minor tweaks to it. As a summary, I think a remake is essentially just making the same game overall, but tweaking nearly everything about it, graphics, sound, and gameplay especially, to suit the modern era. With that said, there are very similar games to this that are considered a reimagining of the original title, such as Silent Hill Shattered Memories and Ratchet and Clank. Unfortunately, I can't speak for a title like Ratchet and Clank because I haven't played it yet, but I can talk a bit about Silent Hill Shattered Memories without spoiling it, of course. From what I can tell, a reimagining, assuming there will be any standard at all regarding this, is very similar to a remake, but with as much creative freedom as anything. It seems that a reimagining can twist the story or make a brand new one, even if it's in the same universe, as well as make not just minor, but very major changes to the gameplay, graphics, and sound. The only similarities that I've noticed are the characters and certain themes of the original. This one isn't seen very much though, so I'm going to end it there and hope that it's somewhat on point with what I think the standard will eventually be. Something that seems quite similar to a reimagining is a reboot. Although I believe a reboot has a specific purpose. Reboots don't need to be connected to the originals in any way except characters and possibly themes it seems like, but it does appear to try to establish a new story to reinvigorate the series and be open to future titles. It seems that a reboot can basically do whatever it wants to with original characters and themes or not, but is intended to establish a new world and story by abandoning the old lore. Remasters seem to do a lot less overall though. Remasters are generally just up-rendered versions of previous games with only graphical and audio changes. Even the most extensive remasters only include graphical and UI changes with the same but remastered soundtrack, although they may also include content that the best versions of the original title had, such as the Final Fantasy X HD remaster and its inclusion of the optional content that was exclusively for the international edition of the game. There never seem to be any actual gameplay changes though made to whatever it's remastering. Because of such little involvement, remasters are probably easily able to be confused with a port to newer or better consoles. As an example, the Metro Redux versions for the new consoles are those technically remasters or ports. They're titled Redux, so that could be an indication that it's a remaster, but it could also just be an indication of it including all the DLC content of the original game. It's not specific about it at all, and I could easily see it as either. As a final note, you can also look at these and sometimes combine them depending on the content. Resident Evil's remake was entirely a remake when it was put on the GameCube, but due to minimal changes made when porting over to the new platforms, it's now more or less looked at as a remaster of the remake of the original Resident Evil. This sort of thing doesn't happen often, but there are probably other combinations that could work too. What do you think? Do these terms have any specific meaning to you? Let me know in the comments and always remember to have fun.